Hi everyone, it's Kate. So today I'm going to be reviewing how to get your 3D print to stick properly to your bed. If your 3D print is not sticking properly to your bed and you're ending up with a mess like in this video, then um, this video is for you. So this is legitimately what my 3D print looked like when I came home to check on it. Um, the print had fallen off the bed and that just led to this stringy mess here. Um, it was horrible. I'm glad I didn't get a clog, um, but uh, obviously I wasted all this filament and my print did not turn out at all. So I'm going to take you through the steps that I do in order to improve my print bed adhesion. So the first and most basic step is to clean your print bed surface. If your print bed is full of oily residue from your fingers um, or if there's dust collecting on it, then you won't get as good of a print bed adhesion. And so you can use isopropyl alcohol to clean a mostly clean print bed like the one that I have on the right there. Or if you have a dirtier print bed that really needs more of a clean, then you can use Dawn dish soap to clean a dirtier print bed like the one I have on the left. So for your isopropyl alcohol, you're just going to want to use a cloth. You don't want to use like toilet paper or paper towel because that can also leave residue. You just want to use a cloth, put a little bit of the isopropyl alcohol on and then give it a rub. If you're using the Dawn dish soap, then you're going to use a little bit of warm soapy water and you're going to give your print bed a scrub. I'm using a microfiber cloth and you're just going to scrub it until it's clean. And then you can use the isopropyl alcohol afterwards to clean off the plate fully. So the next thing you can do if your print is not sticking to your print bed plate is you can level your 3D printer. It's really important to have a good level for bed adhesion. So this is my Creel T printer and I just am using the auto level feature. Most of the newer printers do have an auto level feature. Some of the older printers you're going to have to do manually, but you can see that my print bed there is auto leveling uh, with a grid pattern. Also, if that doesn't work, you're going to want to make sure your Z offset is set up correctly. So most printers have a manual method of doing this by putting a piece of paper under the printhead. You don't want it to be pulling too hard. You just want light resistance on the piece of paper. And so you can adjust your Z offset using your printer settings. So you get a little bit of a tug. Um, such that the paper can move freely under, but you feel some resistance when you pull on the paper. So the next method is my most favorite method of getting your prints to stick, which is using an adhesive like a glue stick or blue tape. This is the way for me to get your prints to stick. It's surefire and complex prints like that octopus at the beginning, I'm always going to be using this. So this is the Elegoo Blilled build platform glue stick. This is what I've been using for my um, 3D print bed. Um, I got two of them for you with my Elegoo um, printers, but you can also just use regular glue stick. So you just layer it on over your print bed like this, whatever the print bed surface that you're gonna need for your print. And then you put your uh, print bed plate back on uh, your printer and it works like a charm. You don't need to re-level or anything. It really, it really does the job and I've been using a glue stick for a while now and I haven't had any issues. You can also use blue tape. So I have on the left my toy box printer. It has a small build plate and so I have a blue tape surface that's the exact right size. It peels off and you can put it there. That works really well for adhesion as well. It also makes it easy to peel the print off. So if you have a glass plate, which I don't recommend, blue tape is a really great option for adhesive. But for the flexible plates, I find that using the glue stick is better than the blue tape because you don't really have issues with pulling it off. You can also just use regular blue tape. You don't have to buy the ones that are set just for the size of your print bed. So the last method is to actually fool around with your settings. So I'm just showing you an Elegoo Cura here. So I've got the settings pulled up for my Neptune 3 Pro. So first you could adjust the printing temperature, or print bed temperature. Typically we adjust the print belt, the build plate temperature. So I have it set to 60. I could go to 65 or even 70 and see if that makes a difference. Then I can go to speed here and I can look at the initial layer speed. This is the most important thing for adhesion. So right now I'm at 25, which is a good speed, but I could go down to even 20 or try 15. And then lastly, you could consider adding a brim, a raft, or a skirt. So a bed plate adhesion method 
just makes it harder to peel your prints off, but that's an option as well. So I hope this video helped you make some excellent prints that stick well to your build plate like mine here and uh, drop any questions in the comments and I'll try to answer them for you.